how to how to track your orders when you place them how to know identify the different things in the website so when you come you click here and you click here that is mine it will bring you here now um, everything you're seeing up here have a meaning okay um, this let's start from here i don't know if you can see this 600 these are orders you've clicked on this 63 this zero this 999 plus now this 999 plus are all the order you've ever placed on this platform since you joined all of them if you open them everything you ever bought why this 600 are the recent things you clicked I didn't buy this 63 is the same thing as the recent things you click maybe you just check them out you didn't buy you added them to cart or something then let's come down to here all these ones you're seeing they all mean something this first one means um, this first one means uh, items you've added to cart and you wanted to pay but you didn't complete the payment so the system has submitted it to the seller telling the seller that this person submitted the order so some sellers will now after some time the sellers will chat you and say we still have this your order please go, and, go ahead and make payment so these are the ones you have not paid for but you've added them to cart and you almost wanted to pay maybe something happened you didn't pay again then these two here are the orders you have completed payment for you have paid for them but it has not been shipped it is still with the seller the seller hasn't sent it then this 14 this one you see vehicle are the ones you have paid for and the seller has sent it already it is on the way going to the warehouse so if you want to track your goods this is where you track it then this one is the ones that have been received at the warehouse and some of them have been shipped to your country so when it moves from here when it moves from here to here it means it has been shipped your it has been received when it is still here it has been received it has been sent or received by your warehouse and after some days like a week or so it will move to this place meaning it has been received at the warehouse and it has been shipped something like that then this last one is for refund when it is still here you can get a refund if the seller has not sent it maybe the seller is wasting time or you need your money back for something you just get the refund once you get the refund it will come here once the seller approves it it will disappear so currently i don't have any refund if i want to get any refund now click and then get the refund let me see if i can okay so you can click any of them let me click the first one this first one the four the one that has four it will open up goods that I added to cart I wanted to pay but I didn't pay again for a reason one reason or the other okay so as you can see this opening it has opened these are items I wanted to pay for but I didn't pay again look at them okay so let me check the next one the next one routine two. these two now is those are items I've paid for, but the seller has not sent it. That's like this one. So let's click it and open and see. So of all the others I placed, this one now, this very one, is still on the road. It has not been shipped. So I can just click on it. I click on it and then ask the seller, Hi, why haven't you shipped this item? Then it's allowed to reply me that I will ship it today or I'll ship it tomorrow or something like that. Okay, so I'll just come click here to chat up the seller. But before I do that, I'll go down and get this is the ID number of this transaction. The ID number, I'll just copy it by clicking on it. Then I'll open this click here the chat button to chat up the seller. First of all, I will drop the ID number mm -hmm. so tell the seller that this is what I'm referring to 
this ID number then I'll translate and tell the seller have you shipped these goods or I can ask him why haven't you shipped this good or something like that okay so let's proceed I'll come out I'll come out so this one now uh, this is where you can track from this one are the ones that has been sent out the seller has sent them out so let me click on it so the only place you can okay let's be going I'll still talk about that so um so these are the items that has been sent out there on the way going to the warehouse now so now how do i track how do i check if it has gotten to the warehouse i'll just simply click on it let me just tap here click on it if i click on it it will open when it opens i will see the other then i'll come and click here this place that's, this motor that is driving i'll just click here to see if it has arrived at the warehouse if it has arrived it will turn green if it has not arrived at the warehouse it will turn, it will not be green it will be orange so as you can see it is still orange look at it it is orange color it has not turned green but the seller has sent it out he sent it out on by 9 a.m on 22 that is today and it is still in transit going to the look at the movement each movement each stop to show here each stop until it gets to the warehouse once it gets to the warehouse this thing will turn green so i'll just come down and wait let me check another one this one to this one let me check this one and click on it to see if it will arrive at the warehouse so i'll click here again then as you can see this one now has arrived let's wait for it to load see it has turned green once it turns green it has arrived at the warehouse as you can see it's green so if i now go to my warehouse i will see this number look at this tracking number this tracking number ends with 7789 7789 let me go to my shipping company website if i go to shipping company website i'll be able to see it so this is the shipping company's website um now let's see let's open it so this is a goods that has been shipped and i've even shipped it already to nigeria it's on its way now so look at that warehouse look at it seven seven eight nine look at it so if my goods arrive at nigeria and i don't see this one i will know that the problem is not the seller the seller delivered it the warehouse received it you get so that's how to track your goods so now let's check it. so we are back to here this is it so this one has been dead received at the warehouse this is how to track your number your goods okay so let's now go back um, so for my explanation now you see that the goods here sorry you see that the goods here had received this one was two before right now the one the seller has sent it so the remaining one it was two here before but before we went and came back, the seller has sent it. Have you seen it? it? Has moved to this place. This place was 14 before, but it's now 15 because that one seller has sent. You see, so where we can we can actually get a refund from any of this point at any of these points when it is still here. Maybe the seller has not sent it and you want a refund. You can get the refund here. When the seller has sent it already, it will be hard to get the refund here. But still, you can if. The thing is not get sometimes seller will send goods, it will take a week, it has not gotten to the warehouse. Meanwhile, it is just supposed to take a day or two days, a maximum three days for the warehouse to receive it. So if it's taking too long and you are asking the seller and he's not talking to you, you can come here and get the refund here. The system will refund you. 
even when it gets to this place you can see get the refund maybe after receiving the goods in nigeria and it's not what you want you can go and charge the seller off from here and tell him that all he delivered is not good then you request for a refund if you want or if he tells you that he's going to replace it for you fine okay so that's it so here now let, let's check the new here it was two before but now it is one and that's it